Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to more Pokemon Y. Last time we made it here to Snowbell City, the location of the final gym badge in Pokemon Y. And in this episode, we are going to explore the city. So, let's see what's going on. We've got an Obama Snow just chilling right there, which is pretty sweet. And yeah, let's see if we can get any hidden items. Doesn't look to be any here, so let's head into this house and just see what the citizens of uh, Snowball City are all about. Pokemon don't freeze in harsh sunlight. Alright, that's a good tip, I guess, I, even though I kind of knew that already, but sure. Standing here reminds me of a cold region far away. Would you like to listen to a song I composed there? Uh, sure. Pretty sure that is the uh, Snowpoint City theme song, so that's pretty cool to hear that again, even though I haven't played a Gen 4 game on my channel yet, but, or at least Diamond Pearl and Platinum, I haven't played that on my channel yet, which obviously is a hint to what's going to happen in the future, I guess. For generations, my family's duty has been to teach moves to Pokemon that people call mythical. I can teach a move to Keldeo or Mel Meloetta. Okay, so I guess that's where you come to get Secret Sword on your Keldeo, or, uh, Relic Song, I think, on Meloetta. I don't have it, but the Thick Fat Ability weakens the power of Fire and Ice-type moves. I told you I don't have it. Alright, so she doesn't think she's fat then, I guess that's good. You! Try! This! Alright, so we get the TM08, which is Bulk Up. Increases the attack and defense, so that's pretty cool, and... She's very hyped. Uh, Lissandre, he's my old friend. He was trying to help the people in need. Becoming convinced that of people's stupidity and facing his own limitations led to him to conclude the world could not be saved, which led to his suffering. It's ironic. Alright, so this guy was uh, Lissandre's friend, which is pretty interesting, but... Alright, we got the TM for bulk up, so at least we got some sort of reward. Slide down here. You and your Pokemon look like you've been through a lot together. You know, I've got a kid right around the same age as you. She set off from Vanderbilt Town on a journey of her own recently. Uh, cool, okay. Uh, let's head in here then. I wonder if that's anybody we know. I don't think so, though. Can your Pokemon use Map Lock? Uh, I know that Greninja learns it eventually. I don't think I can use it right now. I don't have it right now, so... It doesn't matter where I go... where Whether I go somewhere or not. Because... Okay, cool. That's nice. Alright. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool then. So, not much going on in here. We'll cross this bridge. See what's happening. Alright, so we've got twins. Uh... We're well known for using Synchronize, which is the ability that can pass on the stats infliction to another Pokemon. We have the same personality. Alright, no individualism going on in here then. Let's trade my Bishop for a Jigglypuff. Uh, no. I don't have one anyway, but that's actually a good trade if you have a Jigglypuff you want to get a Bisharp. If Pokemon get frozen, they can't do anything. But it's hard to freeze a Pokemon. Yeah, freeze increasing move, or like moves that have freeze, they're like really low. Like, I think 20%-ish around that, so it might be very rare that you get frozen. Anyway, there's an item over there we can grab, but we'll just explore this part of the city yet, because we haven't done it. it. doesn't matter how big our numbers might get, people and Pokemon will still be fine in this world, right? Okay then, and what's happening in this house? Might as well teach the ultimate move to a certain Pokemon. The Blazing Fire-type, Charizard, Typhlosion, Blaziken, Infernape, Envoir, and Delphox. The Relentless Water-type Pokemon, Blastoise for Alligators, Swampert, Empoleon, Stamurod, and Greninja. The Quiet Grass-type Pokemon, Venusaur, Meganium, Sceptile, Torterra, Superior, and Chestnut. Alright, so here's where you get uh, Blast Burn, Frenzy Plant, and Hydro Cannon, which are the ultimate moves, kind of like a Hyper Beam version of your Pokemon's uh, move, or Pokemon's type, so has to be your starter Pokemon. So that sort of sucks. Uh, well, it doesn't suck, but it's... Yeah, it's it's the only move that they... Well, only they can learn it. Alright, so, uh, looks like the gym is blocked off. What's new, Little Blue? If it ain't the future champ. Hate to disappoint, but the gym leader is actually out right now. He said he'd be off in the winding woods, if you feel like searching. Alright then, well, looks like we'll be heading to the winding woods. But before we do that, we're gonna slide down this way. And just slowly walk across here. Grab ourselves a full restore. And I think I should check on the dowsing machine just in case I missed out on any, like, hidden items or something. Turns out I did, because there is something over in this direction at least. And, uh, let's see where it is. It is over... 
somewhere. <laughs> Great. Okay, it's this way. Alright, so interacting with the... Can, yeah, it was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. Interacting with this gets you an X special attack, so if you want to get that, by all means do. I think that may be everything. Uh, not a lot of hidden items in this place, so... As far as I know, that is the last thing we can get. Anyway, we're gonna head down this way. Let me see what this person says. Wolf forgotten wanders in the direction of the winding woods. I wonder what he's up to. Alright, so Wolfric is the gym leader, and what we're gonna do is head in here to the winding woods. Alright, so Route 20, also known as the Rind or Winding Woods, let's say Rinding, the Winding Woods. We are gonna spray a uh, Max Rebel. I forgot that I moved them all the way to the middle again by sorting them by letter, so just go down here and grab this. The Winding Woods are. Meant to be some sort of like confusing woods, but they're not all that bad really. It's kind of easy enough to navigate your way through here. Anyway, right here you get a Cassid Berry, which not too sure what that does. I'm pretty sure it's one of those that reduces the power of moves. Is it fairy type moves? I kind of want to say it decreases the power of fairy type moves. I'm going to check that out in the bag actually, just so I can be sure if I'm right or not. Cassid Berry, ghost type moves. So yeah, reduce the power of ghost type moves. I know some people online are actually using like Iga Slash with. Cassaberry to stop the power of like ghost type moves. Anyway, if you have an Eevee you'd like to evolve into Leafeon, bring it here, level it up right here, and it will evolve into Leafeon due to this mossy rock, which does uh, evolve it. So, yeah, if you want to do that. And uh, let's see, you want to head down this way. I believe this just leads to a dead end, but oh, actually, no, it doesn't. It leads us to a metal plate, which I'm pretty sure it uh, changes Arceus into Arceus grass. So. If you want that, there it is. And we want to go over this way. And this will lead us to a battle, so... We're going to be the toughest train- or toughest trains in the world. Yeah, okay, I don't know why I read that as trainers, but... Tomato, tomato, I guess, sort of the same thing. They are trainers, but they are twins, too. Anyway, they have two fairy types, Sir Plup and Aromatis. Both, uh, like a version exclusive to one game at least. And what we will do is go for a Thunderbolt on the Aromatis, and we will go for a Flare Blitz on the Surplus. We should do some decent damage, so Flare Blitz is going to almost want to KO. Actually, will want to KO now because of the burns, so that's great. And T-Bolt is going to be a 2-hit KO. Great. So surplus has gone for Wish. I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference. I'm pretty sure it should die to burn damage. As we do have to take a Psychic, and that is perfectly fine. Aw, oh, really? Yeah, as healer, that sucks. Alright, so we'll Thunderbolt, and we will uh, Aerial Ace the Surplup. Luckily, it does not protect, because Wish Protect is pretty common. I mean, if you protect, you're going to get all your HP back with a Wish. So, good thing it doesn't have uh, Protect. And we can take, uh, well, we can get up to level 61. And Thunderbolt should take it out from that range of HP. So, there we go. They may be the best twins in the world, but they're no match for Solstice and Hawkeye. Alright, so level 62. Looking good. And we defeat Nana and Nina. Yep, you lost. That sucks for you. Great for me, though, because, you know, it's great that I win. Alright, so... Let's see what's down this way first. If it'll lead us to anything... Well, it will lead us to a hidden item by the looks of it. And that hidden item is a antidote that is hidden in this tree. Alright, so let's talk to this person. Oh wow, you battle. Okay, I thought you were just some random person in front of a tree, but... You are a Pokefan with a Snubble. Roshin, a very Irish name. So, let's see what you got here, Roshin. Snubble. And that Snubble's level 51 with the Intimidate ability. Pure very type Pokemon, Snubble. Uh, not too much of a problem, though. I'm pretty sure we should be able to 2-hit KO it with a T-Bolt. And actually, 1-hit KO it with a T-Bolt, so that's great. And following up from your snubble, you have yourself a Grand Bowl, which is a bigger threat. So, we're gonna go to Excalibur, our Aegis Slash, which should be able to handle this thing no problem. Even if it has Intimidate, I'm pretty sure I'll still one-shot it with a, uh, with an Iron Head. So, doesn't have Intimidate, that's good, and we can Iron Head it. And we actually outspeed, which is fantastic, so this will definitely one-shot this Grand Bowl, it is super effective. And there we go, alright, sweet. Okay, so Roshin is defeated. And we can just 
move on. So, anything else in here? Uh, nope. Alright, so we got everything there is down here. I'm gonna try and cover all the woods. I mean, it's kind of a weird place to navigate because there's so many twists and turns in it. As you can see, look, there's something over there I didn't even get yet. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember how to get to it, though. It's a TM, so yeah, I obviously want to get that. And over here, we have ourselves a hidden item over there, actually. There's nothing over this way, I believe, so... This is kind of a waste of an area, but it's just to tell you that you're getting, like, lost or something in these woods. So, let's just head over this way real quick. And this is actually gonna lead to, uh, right where we were a minute ago, actually, just above it. So, we'll use cut, and we're right here, so, uh, here we have a protein. And we'll just see if we can find that hidden item that was eluding us last time. And we can, it is right here, it's a repeat ball that's hidden in this tree trunk, or stump, I guess, not the trunk, because it looks like the tree's been chopped down. No other hidden items around here. And we'll just take on this dude. Alright, so let's see what mons this guy has. He only has one, he has a Dedede, which is an Electric-type Pokémon. As well as a Fairy-type. So having Solstice at the front is not too great, even though I could just go for Razor Wind. Because, I mean, it can't do too much to me, so yeah, I'll go for Razor Wind. As this thing is gonna discharge, uh, I won't do that much damage. And yeah, we're just taking that really well, we can't even get paralyzed either, so... Just definitely in my best interest to stay in here with uh, Heliolus. Play rough doesn't do that much usually when I see the move play rough. I'm always afraid because I'm always afraid my HP is going to go down like crazy. As he used a super potion, so this Razor Wind is pretty much going to hit it like right away because we don't need to worry about it attacking me. And this should kill. So there we go. All right, critical hit. Awesome. Take care of that, did And that was pretty simple actually, which is great. Alright, so, let's get out of this area then, and I believe I saw a fairy girl wandering around the, uh, the fairy tale girl wandering around out here, so, we're gonna switch our team around, we'll go with, uh, go with Excalibur, I guess, to the front, even though it's level 62. Well, I don't even have to battle her, but I will, because I like to battle everybody, so, let's just take her on. Tee hee, you just ran into a girl who's head over heels for Pokemon battles. That's good, that's good, I like that. Alright, so Fairy Tail Girl Wind has a Klefki. Hey, Klefki is a Steel Fairy type Pokemon. Has the ability Prankster, so its moves may go ahead of yours even if you are a few levels ahead. Such as Magic Room, which is what it's going to use right now. And I am just going to go for a uh, Shadow Claw on this thing, as it is not resisted and it should kill. And it very well doesn't. Wow, it's probably like 1 HP, okay, but go for another Shadow Claw then. And take it out. And finally, on this girl's team, she has herself an Azumarill, which is a water fairy type, as we already know. Let's go back out to Salt and just go for a Thunderbolt. And just KO that thing with relative ease. Alright, so, fairy girl win. Send down Azumarill, water fairy type. And we'll Thunderbolt that into Oblivion, and that should KO it. So, there we have it, easily done, and not too much trouble at all. Alright, that's what I like to see, nice easy battles. Okay, so let's head down this way. And what do we have around here? We have a exit actually, or an exit down here. And I believe if we go over this way we can find something else. We can't find ourselves a mental herb. So. Pretty cool item. Uh, trying to think what Mental Herb does. <laughs> I say it's a cool item, trying to think what it does, but... Totally slipped my mind. Anyway, let's bring another Repel. And we have ourselves a hidden item right here. It's a tiny mushroom, so I'm gonna get one of those then. By all means, just nab up this one. I believe if we keep running over this way, we... May find ourselves in an infinite loop. By the looks of it. Anyway, this leads outside. We don't want to really do that. We want to try and get that TM that we missed out on uh, at the start. So I kind of have to remember how to get that. I know there's some weird way to do it. Actually, I think it... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what way do I go to get this. I know there's like an area that leads to a sort of like cliff that you can run up which leads up there. But I can't remember 
specifically how to get to it, so yeah, it's uh, not very good, is it? I probably shouldn't know this thing. It is a maze of a cave, but uh, yeah, I probably sh or not a cave, a maze of a forest, but I probably should know something like that, so that's great. I'm going to be running around in circles for a few minutes trying to get there. Hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. I feel bad for not knowing it. There, there it is over there. I really want to get that TM, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to <laughs> if I can't figure out this uh, this maze we got going on. Alright, so let's just head over this way. And yeah, we just keep like getting brought back here. So, I mean, we're at the end, but I guess I can try and figure it out like off-screen, then come back and show you guys how to do it. Because I want to show you how to get everything I possibly know how to get, and I know there is a way to get it, so... Yeah, I'll probably, like, uh, record that off-screen. Oh, wait, no, I'm in the right area now, I think. I think I was in the right area that time. I... Yeah, I was in it that time. Yeah, okay, okay, I think I figured it out. Alright, so... Go back through here. And if that part up there is blocked off, I should be in the right spot. Yes, I am. Alright, I got it. See, it took me a while, but... I got there. I, I tend to get there eventually. Anyway, we need cut to get down here, so let's just cut this down and see what we got over here. And there's the TM. So first we'll beat this trainer, then grab ourselves that TM. I knew how to get to it. I just, it's just like a small little, like you have to pay a little bit of attention to detail so you know exactly where it is. But Anyway, Trevenant here, Ghost and a Grass type will just go for a Shadow Claw, which is super effective and it should kill it, even though Trevenant does have some respectable defenses. And yeah, Shadow Claw is going to kill, so that's not a problem. And there we go. So, let's we'll see what this TM is. Hopefully it is a good reward. And the TM that is hidden all the way over here is TM53 Energy Ball, a very powerful Grass type move, so... Definitely worth our while to come over here and get it. It is a special type grass move, so it won't be too good on our Go Goat, but still not bad nonetheless. And I kind of want to get over to that other, uh, well, get over to the cliff part. So, yeah, if you, if you, when the when the entrance is blocked off, like the way you come into that room is blocked off from the top, then you know you've gone the right way. Anyway, up here, there is an item. There's an X accuracy, so if you want to get that. By all means do, and uh, I probably should have went up here first, actually, as opposed to last time. But anyway, here we have a ball mushroom, which can be sold for decent money, so definitely worth your while to grab that. And that is pretty much the winding forest done. Or winding woods, not forest. Yeah, it's pretty much the winding woods all wrapped up. So let's just go out this way. And that will lead us back here. And, repel off, I don't need to spray one though, because right now we are at the Pokemon Village. You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know? Most of the Pokemon here are runaways, escape from bad people who do awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to care for their Pokemon are out there. Some of these Pokemon, though. Some of them are just too strong, and they found they didn't really have a place in the outside world, so they came here. Hmm, I see. Your Pokemon sure seem to think highly of you. You've had some good battles together, haven't you? Hey, you can all come out. This one's alright. Sometimes I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners. We haven't even been properly... In we haven't even had a proper introduction yet. The name's Wolfric. I'm the- I'm usually over at the gym in Snowbell City, since I'm the gym leader and all. Let me guess, you wanna challenge me? That's right. I thought so. Sorry to inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym then. Before you come by, it'll do you good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Alright then. And fur fro and stuff. I think we can get some, uh, interesting enough items while we're here, so... Don't think it would be too bad to look around, I guess. Spray Max Repel though, because we don't want to run into any wild Pokemon, of course. And it'll just do a little bit of uh, looking, I guess, see if we can find anything good. And we got an item around here somewhere. It's going to be hard to find, though, with the uh, 
dowsing machine, but there's the honey that is hidden underneath this sort of archway. And, uh, what is over here? There's a Snorlax sleep under here, which you can't wake up. I wonder if that's the same Snorlax from the bridge uh, earlier on in the game. There's an item over there we can grab, so let's head over here and just nab it up. Nice max ether. So that's good. And have we got anything else? We have another item over this direction. And that is... Alright, um, usually you can find Pokemon in those trash cans. I thought I may have found one because of the rustling and stuff. I think on Thursdays, you can find yourself a bayonet hidden in one of these trash cans. So, if you're looking for a Mega Bayonet, don't feel like, uh, getting a Shuppet and leveling it up. You can get yourself a Wild Bayonet. And I believe we can surf up this way, so we'll see what's going on. I think we need Waterfall so we can get, like, a specific TM, though. Which would be great, and I can't use Waterfall until after I beat the gym. And right here we have a Pixie Plate, which turns Arceus into Arceus Fairy. And we'll see just what is down this way. Yeah, we do need the, uh, the ability to use Waterfall to explore this place a little bit further, so I may have to come back once I get Waterfall just to show you where to get another TM. And we can't go by here, so let's just do like a flip over that. Oh, that was nice. Sweet. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Alright, so let's make our way back to Snowbell City and interact with uh, Wolfric. See if we can get this gym underway. We'll probably do it in the next episode because this has been 22 minutes of stuff. So, I mean, yeah, I don't like to cram in gyms. I like to have a whole episode dedicated to a gym. So, we'll heal up. And I'm actually not looking at the counter, I thought I was, but... Yeah, we'll heal up. And I think I will wrap it up here with all that's said and done. I did that totally the other way around. I usually say with all that's said and done, I'll wrap it up here, but... Yeah, next time we're going to be heading into Wolfric's gym and hopefully getting our final gym badge in the game. So, with all that's said and done, let's thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys more shortly enough. Catch you guys then.